We recently covered the perplexing, yet little shared ancient artifact which can be found at the ancient site of Patara. We covered the fact that some of the inventions accredited to the Romans within the modern day may have been borrowed concepts with origins located far within our distant past. As with the supposed ancient Egyptian sites on the Giza Plateau, many ancient ruins contain megalithic blocks whose movement into position not only evades modern explanation, but lacks any detailed recording of the mammoth task by any of these so-called culprits for constructions. Rather, it seems a worldwide conspiracy has occurred. It is well known that history is written by the victor. Maybe this is a fitting explanation for the academic ignorance witnessed on a daily basis. Perhaps it's laziness on the part of academics, put with the task of explaining these sites, or perhaps as we have detailed on many, many occasions, a covert effort to occult the truth from modern society. Our claim is not made lightly, but upon the witnessing of talented individuals having their careers and future opportunities crushed at the hands of those who fund and therefore steer academic study in the directions of their pleasure. The stolen artifacts which tell of this story, the vast documented efforts of the many organizations around the world, tasked or rather funded to gather, pillage or steal all such items, merely to paint a picture they are told to. But the truth remains, human history is far more interesting than you have been led to believe. But be warned, paradigm destruction can often be distressing. In the popularly regurgitated marketed phrase, Roman columns, after being presented with the following evidence, may begin to feel more like programming than historically truth. The Baalbek Trilithon, a group of three horizontally lying stones which form part of the podium of the Roman Jupiter Temple of Baalbek, Lebanon. Numerous archaeological expeditions have gone to the site, starting in the 19th century, primarily German and French groups, and research continued into the 20th century. Each of these stones is 70 feet long, 14 feet high, and 10 feet thick, weighing around 800 tons each. And conveniently, each of these modern academic studies concluded the same thing, completely absent of any explanation as to their placement. The entire foundation of this ancient structure is unexplainable, with a number of stones weighing over 350 tons, thus indicative of lost knowledge not modern architecture. It should seem obvious that to declare otherwise would be foolish, yet this is what's witnessed all over the earth every day. And we are yet to mention the world-famous, yet equally perplexing Stone of the Pregnant Woman, also at Baalbek, and weighing in at an astonishing 1,000 tons. As Yuri Muzik put it, quote, in 27 BC, the Roman Emperor Augustus supposedly took the unfathomable decision to build in the middle of nowhere the grandest and mightiest temple of antiquity, having no obvious reasons for selecting Baalbek as the temple's building site. The much greater erosion of the big Baalbek blocks qualifies as material proof of their much greater age." End quote. It seems that as we suspected, the evidence is mounting to support the far more logical claim that an advanced lost civilization's heritage has been stolen by different, more modern civilization all over the world. A great civilization did once flourish here on Earth, one which has been actively suppressed, stolen from, exploited, and hidden for far too long. Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, take care. We recently covered the astonishing precision cut ancient ruins which can be found at Puma Punku within Bolivia. Once an enormous city complex, which still possesses some incredible features. One of the more controversial of these still surviving attractions is undoubtedly the Wall of Humanity. During the 1960s, archaeologists employed by the Bolivian government excavated a temple at Tiahuanaco. Within the walls of the courtyard, hundreds of stone heads were discovered, all with a diverse range of features masterfully built into the architecture. A once perfectly constructed wall, adorned with a variety of different faces, each now believed by a number of independent researchers, to represent the different tribes and civilizations which could be found upon our planet at the time. If proven true, it is clearly a controversial reality for academia to explain. How can a wall, supposedly built by the Incas, display faces from all corners of the world, built by people who never traveled intercontinentally? 
Or does the wall of humanity further support the premise of a world-going advanced civilization actually having once built such sites? Furthermore, and perhaps the most intriguing detail surrounding this ancient artifact, is the addition of two heads made of a noticeably different material that, instead of displaying a possible lost tribe, appears to actually represent what many would now identify as grey aliens. The question is, if the Wall of Humanity does indeed represent the different tribes which could be found all over the world at the time of its creation, then who, or indeed what, do these two faces represent? Are the ancient alien theories true? Did an extraterrestrial race not only once visit our planet, but actually called it home? Clearly, an astonishing ancient artifact, which demands more alternative research. During the past few years, we have covered many aspects of Mankuri, Khafra, and Khufu, the three great pyramids of Giza. We have explored numerous amazing facts regarding these structures, which have remained secret for many years. As the interest has grown regarding these three amazing structures, more people with suspicions, hypothesis, and technical and intellectual talents are fortunately beginning to approach these mysterious and wonderful structures in more explorative ways. We are experiencing the beginning of an ancient Egyptian renaissance thanks to the gift of modern technology. At the beginning of this year, an international team of researchers began investigating the buildings from afar, gazing at them with unusual cameras. Using state-of-the-art infrared heat detection technology, they have discovered some surprising anomalies regarding the heat signatures visible on their faces. What these thermal anomalies reveal are undiscovered shafts more than likely leading to additional and undiscovered secret tombs deep within these amazing pyramids. The thermal scanning that they have successfully completed has revealed that there are many of these temperature fluctuations, in many areas undocumented as containing anomalies. Thus, what the team has done is pinpoint unexplored shafts dotted across the pyramids. The team also found a particularly impressive anomalous signature located on the eastern side of the Khufu Pyramid, very close to ground level. From the beginning, the team had always maintained that they would publicly disclose their findings. All of the staggering finds were made public by Antiquities Minister Mamdu El Damati. During a press briefing, quote, There is something like a small passage in the ground that you can see, leading up to the pyramid's ground, reaching an area with a different temperature. What will be behind it? said El Damati. The scanning was done throughout a 24-hour period, allowing the researchers to monitor subtle temperature changes as the pyramids heated up and then cooled down during the day and night. Though the huge granite and limestone blocks which make up most of the pyramid this technology was capable of recognizing the slight differentials in their temperature. By monitoring the speed of this heating and cooling, thanks to these miraculous cameras, the researchers were able to isolate several persistent anomalies. Thus, they may have just unlocked more of the pyramid secrets in one day using state-of-the-art technology than Egyptian antiquities or archaeologists worldwide have in more than 100 years. While the difference in temperature between most adjacent limestone blocks was between 0.1 to 0.5 degrees Celsius, the largest of heat anomalies discovered on and within the Great Pyramid was an impressive 6 degrees warmer than the surrounding bricks. So far, there are plenty of theories being put forward as to what these heat anomalies might indicate. Not surprisingly, with the leading assumptions being that of just empty areas, a hypothesis I'm sure some would like to make a reality. The good news is that the study, which is called Operation Scan Pyramids, will continue. Next, the researchers intend to use cosmic particles called radiographic muons to create a 3D reconstruction of the pyramids of Giza in an attempt to map all the secret chambers and passageways within the pyramids. We will keep you posted on their future finds. Throughout history, a vast array of individuals who, for whatever reason, became figures idolized by their civilizations. Some even seen as godly-like figures, sentient, divine beings, whom, upon their passage into the next life, were believed to live on, often as deities, according to New World History. The most academically funded research practices in said preparations into the afterlife 
is undoubtedly that of the mummies found within ancient Egypt. The Valley of the Kings – impressive protective strategy against tomb raiders. Yet the list of similar protective practices is long. The Sphinx, even claimed as the protector of the pharaoh's pyramidal tombs by some, although we, like so many others, based upon a lack of evidence, is untrue due to the pyramids never having been proven tombs. Yet this theme of protecting the dead clearly permeated historians' minds, and, we suspect, this is due to its recurrence throughout history. The curse of Tutankhamun, yet another relative story deriving from Egypt, with mysterious goings-on during Howard Carter's incredible discovery of King Tut's tomb. Objects of interesting motivations would often be left with these important figures. Not just solid gold death masks, thrones, coins, canes, and other jewels, but people of nobility have even been found buried within chariots, complete with eight horses sacrificed for the burial. We have also covered many other booby-trapped tombs, proof of the ancients' own beliefs in their own versions of the afterlife. Yet, unquestionably, the most unique, and due to it remaining unsealed, the most enigmatic of them all, lay still guarded by an equally unique terracotta army. For all soldiers carved to depict an individual man, and the quantum phenomenon interdimensional pigment, Han Purple, still visible upon many of this army. What makes this site so unique from all others is that an entire army, along with other baffling technology, guard a tomb, clearly constructed over such an incredible amount of time and with such enormous effort. It must contain someone or something of unimaginable importance. Furthermore, as mentioned in a previous video, poison-tipped, inexplicably advanced compound crossbows have been found still laying in situ, protecting the entrance. Though at some point, coated in sediment, possibly why the terracotta army was found buried. Was this tomb pre-flood? Radar scanning technologies are advancing rapidly, and regardless of the Chinese strict forbiddance to enter the tomb, Technology is finally allowing us our first look into just what exactly such an incredible display of power has been guarding for all this time. It's an investigation we find incredibly exciting.